What's up, wizards? We are talking about the any problem today. We know that it's pretty bad form to type pretty much anything as any in your TypeScript code base. If you type something as any, you know, the wizards are going to be on you saying, no, you shouldn't be doing that. But still, any's appear in the wild in our application code bases. So what is going on? The places that any's are most likely to appear are in utility functions. In other words, functions that are meant to be used in different contexts in your code bases. Let's try building one now and see where we get to. Let's imagine we want to build a group by function. This is going to take two arguments, an array and a key. We're going to be grouping these into an object. We're going to iterate through the array. We're going to find the new key that's going to be the key of our object. For instance, let's imagine that we're calling this with an array of objects where we have age as a number and name is a string. In this case, we're grouping by age. So we have 20 and 30, which is going to be the result key. In other words, our object here is going to have 20 and 30 as keys. And on those keys is going to be an array of the items that match that grouping. If we find that we've already added something to our results that matches the result key, we're going to push to that array. Otherwise, we're going to create a new attribute here, which is the item inside a fresh array. Finally, we just return the result. The question is, how the hell do we type this in TypeScript? Let's imagine that you're a beginner TypeScript programmer. You don't yet know how to use generics, which is the absolutely perfect solution here. Or maybe you're a little bit confident with generics, but you don't feel confident enough to tackle this. Let's first try to fix them by changing them into any. This doesn't help as much as you think because this for each function still has implicitly has an any type. We can fix by making this an any array since we know that this is always going to be an array. And now this error goes away. We've got a pretty complex error here. Element implicitly has an any type. Expression of type any can't be used to index type. That's because we haven't put result as any. And now this error goes away. So with just a few steps, we've managed to make TypeScript happy, which is good. But the real issue is our function now returns any, which means it's easy to introduce subtle bugs because this result is not being type checked. And we even get more errors because any's implicitly create more any's. So this will start to leak any's all over over our code base. You can see that when you have a function that returns any and you call it many times in your code base, you're going to have any's everywhere. Sticking with our thought experiment, let's see if we can make this better with unknown. Unknown is like the smarter sort of goody two shoes cousin of any. It's like the exact reverse of any. Whereas any will let you do anything with it, unknown will let you do nothing with it. Let's remove the any's that we had before and start from a clean slate. Let's type this array a little bit more tightly using a record string unknown inside an array. We're now constraining this so that you can only pass an array of objects into here, which is good. We also know that key is always going to be a string. That's because our object has keys of strings. And so the key of that object is also going to be a string. We've got an error happening down here. Type unknown cannot be used as an index type. That's because result key is being resolved as unknown. Let's try casting that to a string. Now the error has changed so that no index signature with a parameter of type string was found on type empty object. We can change that by adding a type to result, which is going to be record string unknown array. This represents the type that we're going to get back at the end of group by. All of our errors have gone away. Fantastic. Now we're getting much smarter errors when we try to use the result of group by. We can fix this properly and that makes the errors go away. But now there's another issue. This item is now being typed as unknown. We know in our heart of hearts that this item is just another one of these items. But now this item is yelling at us whenever we try to access name and age. And it yells at us by saying item is of type unknown. The only way we could possibly fix it is with this crazy validation where we first check that type of item is an object and that it's not null. Then we check if it's got age and name in it. Then we check if item.age is a number and item.name is a string. And finally, we can access the correct properties there. So yes, while we are getting some better type checking with this unknown, it's sort of just as painful as that any. The difference is, is that any any in your code base can cause a bug, but any unknown in your code base can cause a developer experience problem. You're having to write all of this extra boilerplate just to work out that the values are what you know they are. So using unknown here doesn't really feel like an improvement, even though you're going to get fewer bugs using this approach. The truly great approach to this is to use generics, of course. But if you don't know generics, then that's going to be tricky for you to figure out. Here's the solution with generics. And just for the sake of time, I won't properly explain it. But you can see that when we use it, the result here is typed properly with the age and name that we pass in. And whenever we access a property on it, the item is also properly inferred. So if you're migrating a code base, especially one with lots of utility functions like this, you better be ready. Because if you don't know how to handle generics, then you're going to end up with a ton of any's or unknowns in your code base. And while unknown is a bit better, it's still incredibly painful to use. I've got a video on 10 tips to master TypeScript generics, which you should definitely take a look at. 
And also my beginner's tutorial on TypeScript is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching along folks. There is another video here that you can watch and a little face that you can subscribe to here. What do you think? Are generics the only solution to this problem? Should any be used at any point? Answer in the comments below and I will see you very soon.